Hi, I'm Rhiannon and I'm here to talk about choosing thread for your sewing projects. Choosing thread is determined by a couple of different things, the colour and fibres of the fabric and how durable you need the finished project to be. The easiest thing to do is to go for a shade that matches your fabric exactly. Take a look at a single strand of the thread against a fabric swatch and make sure you compare them under sunlight and artificial light. It's not always possible to match the colours exactly. Go for a thread that's slightly darker instead of a lighter shade. If your fabric has a few different shades in the pattern, match your thread to the background colour or the shade that stands out the most. Look for variegated thread, which is dyed in different complementary colours along the strand, for an interesting finish. Use a contrasting colour if you want your stitching to stand out, or you're using a decorative stitch type. Metallic thread is suitable for fabrics with high shine or luster. If you're using a sewing pattern, check the recommendations. There may be specific details about what type or weight of thread to use. Here's a rundown of the types of thread you'll most commonly encounter. Sew all thread can be used with almost all fabric types, as the name suggests. It's a polyester thread that has a similar feel to cotton, but the strength of synthetic fibres. It's affordable and you should use it with synthetic fabrics. Because sew all thread is synthetic, it's also durable and colour fast. Cotton thread is ideal with natural fabrics like cotton and linen, and it's popular for quilting projects too. Cotton thread doesn't stretch, has a matte finish and can also withstand the high heat of your iron. Embroidery thread, often called floss, is made from rayon or cotton, gives you a colour fast, strong finish and is often more fine than other sewing threads. Use it in an embroidery sewing machine to create beautiful intricate designs. Elastic is good for when you want to gather fabric or create a shirred or smocked detail on your project. Use elastic thread in the bobbin that sits in your machine and combine it with a sew all thread on the reel that sits on top. When you're winding the elastic thread onto the bobbin, do it by hand so you can maintain an even tension. Silk thread is a strong thread with a high luster and you can use it with natural fibres like wool or silk. It can withstand high temperatures so you can press it easily without damaging the thread. Clear thread should be used when you're hand stitching only and it creates invisible stitches. It's most often made with nylon and used in quilting or upholstery. Metallic threads are also designed for hand stitching only and they're wrapped in a shiny metal to give a special finish to your project. You'll need to use a needle designed specifically for metallic threads as this type of thread can't be used in a machine. The thickness of the thread can change the final outcome of your project. Thicker threads are stronger but can create a bulky finish if you use it on the wrong fabric. Thinner threads are more delicate, so good when you want a fine finish. When you change threads, make sure you change your sewing machine's tension and check your needle. Don't be afraid to experiment with different colours and textures of threads, making sure to recalibrate your machine for each thread. If you have any questions about which thread to choose for your project, Come and see us in store or head online to spotlightstores.com.